Hello and welcome to TechFunnel.com's interview series for Women's History Month. My name is Danny White and today we have joining us Ty Divers. Ty is the founder of Ty Divers Marketing, a boutique creative marketing and brand mar- management agency created to shift the paradigm of business for entrepreneurs and small business owners. She is a graduate of FAMU and Texas A&M University Commerce, holding both an MBA and a master's in marketing. While her career ventures have led her down many different paths, she remains true to her passion for creative marketing, branding, and digital media. Welcome, Ty. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. All right. So tell us a little bit about your background and how you navigate life as a successful woman in business. Um, So I was raised an only child with my mother by a single mother. Mm -hmm. I graduated from Plano East Senior High School here in Dallas, Texas. Oh, awesome. Plano. Yeah, Plano. (laughs) Um, You know, I took a leap of faith. A lot of the mentors I had growing up went to FAMU. And so I went sight unseen. I just took the took the leap and said, okay, I'm going to go. Um, my very first time going was actually my freshman orientation, seeing the campus. Oh, wow. It was Amazing. the best four years of my entire life. So I received my bachelor's of science in business administration. Mm-hmm. I came home, um, took care of my grandmother uh, for about two years and decided to start my graduate program. I started with the MBA and then lost my mind and decided to do a dual master's program where <laughs> and I got my master's of science in marketing um, yeah. within three years. So I graduated in 2017 with both my MBA and my Master's of Science in Marketing, started my business uh, part-time in 2015 and went full-time with it, 2000, what's it, 2019, 2018. <laughs> awesome, awesome, just last year. Okay, awesome. So as noted, you run a full-service marketing and branding company with so many different ways to market products and businesses and brands. What helps to make you and your organization uh, stand out and unique? I think one of the greatest lessons I was ever taught is that it doesn't matter how populated the market is or how saturated the market is. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm very spiritual and faith based. So if God has a calling for you, he clearly puts you in that position for a reason. Absolutely. And so I think what makes you different and what makes you stand out is the simple fact of your natural personality. I'm goofy. I laugh at everything. I trip over air. And so people gravitate towards that because I was also taught to treat the CEO the same way as I treat the janitor. So I think it's just the personality that what makes you stand out and what makes people drive their attraction towards you Mm -hmm. and why they want to work with you. So there's going to be a thousand other marketing people in the same room Mm -hmm. and we all have different personalities and we all have to do different things, but we also do the same things, but it's who's attracted to you that will work with you. Awesome. So what do you think the impact of, of having more female business owners will be over the next five to 10 years? I personally think that females are relentless and, you know, we are natural caregivers, which is great for us because we understand the emotional side of things, Mm -hmm. but we're also breaking barriers and breaking ceilings and not taking no for an answer and standing up for ourselves and saying we can do this too and showing it. Mm -hmm. And before, you know, in the workplace, it was men go to work, women stay at home, but Mm -hmm. now women are like, I'm going to work too. Exactly. Not a anymore. We stand up for ourselves. We take control of our lives. We Mm -hmm. bring the power that we have within us to the workplace. And I think that's what makes it great is that women just, we, we say, we don't take no, we just what we want. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So over the last couple of years, probably five to 10 years now, workplace diversity and inclusion have been discussed at length from both sides of the aisle for men, women, different races and ethnicities. So what are your views on the entire subject of just workplace diversity and inclusion in general? Well, being a black woman in the workplace, I definitely think it's great that we are talking about diversity. Mm -hmm. I think it's great that people are becoming more acceptable and open to, you know, LGBTQ, the whole acronym, you know, Mm -hmm. black, African, Indian, I think it's great, you know, because we all bring a different side of an outlook. And if you're only looking at things from one perspective, we're missing out on a whole other scope of conversation and business opportunities. And so I think having that diversity allows Mm -hmm. us to open our mindset and allows us for accepting new things and new possibilities. Amazing. So what's the best advice that you have received um, throughout your career? The best advice, it's been a lot. I think the best I've had is just to be yourself. You know, Mm -hmm. you cannot, it's great to try and fake the funk for the longest time. And you always hear, you know, fake it till you make it. And I don't believe that. 
I don't believe in faking something until it be who you are. If you, like I said, I trip over air, I'm goofy. I laugh at everything. That's how I attract my customers. That's how I attract, attract the people that I want to work with. Um, having a tribe and not a squad. People often mistake that. They think, oh, I have my squad behind me. You mm-hmm. don't need a squad. The squad is for the people that you go to the club with, but the tribe is for the people that's going to check on you and make sure right. that you're doing better and making mm-hmm. sure that you're improving yourself and I know you said you were working on this. What have you gotten done? What have you done? You yeah. That tribe behind you to say, you're messing up, girl. Not mm-hmm. the squad that's like, let's go out and party. No, you need a tribe mm-hmm. that's going to support you, that's going to be there, that's going to be that engine that's behind you to help you. Absolutely. Some people that are going to hold you accountable to what you have told yourself you want to do. So exactly. that's incredible, incredible advice. Thank you so much, Ty. We really appreciate your time today. Guys, thanks for listening to this interview. For these and other interviews and topics, please visit techfunnel.com. You can connect with us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram, and subscribe to our weekly newsletter to stay up to date on what's happening in the industry.